So, hey guys. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do the to both voxel and the quad remesh whether you sculpting or modeling in Blender. So, right now, so let's get started. So right now, I selected this cube and changed the uh, change this to from the option mode to the skull mode and make sure you just select this tool properties and it shows you all the all the settings and options for for sculpt for sculpting a object. So let me show you like when I try to grab and you guys already know like this cube doesn't even have a lot of meshes, so it's really impossible to sculpt this in in the first place. So, so what I'm gonna so what I'm gonna show you now is is right here. It's called a remesh. I'm gonna turn this on. Click this, and you see it's a voxel size is set to the 0.1 meter. So. So then, so I'm gonna show you later, and I'm gonna so let's hit remesh. So what it does, it it incre it increases the amount of the the meshes, so you can able to sculpt. So like when I try, when I try to grab, it's not as sharp anymore. When you smooth, it's just Start. It begins to smooth the edges, right here. Also, right here. And this is really a really great feature that came in, I mean, lately for the Blender to Blender. So you guys can able to like sculpt from cube to the any shape that you guys want to do. Either characters, like sculpting like characters and a, a statue, something like that. So to sculpt the more than one objects, then simply just to control, then just click this this cube right here and then and then click this cube that Highlighted with the yellow, yellow outlines. Then I press Control J and go back to the sculpt mode. And when you begin start sculpting, the objects are still separated. It's just sculpting each one by one. So when I press Control R to remesh. And you see that you see these objects are now joined into the one. Uh, let me just yeah. So you so when you press N, then you can you come you come up with this like item. And there's a tool right here, so you can like use the all the tool options right here also. And you can use the, all the tool options here too. Let me turn off the symmetry. Have a nice smooth. It's all joined together. So let me go back to option mode and duplicate this one more time. And then and then shift click this one. Control J to apply. Go back to the sculpt mode, and you already know these are still separated. But you can still tell that when you're smooth, that these objects are still separated. And it's not going to be really helpful for when you're sculpting a character for example you can see when you're smoothing out 
this is still not joined. So when, so when you do remesh again, just let me undo and just press Control R. You see, it all joined together also. So instead of going to options here to either increase or decrease the voxel size, there's a, a shortcut shortcut for this one. It's called a sh so the shortcut for increasing and decreasing the size is Shift R. So let me click, let me hit Shift R, and you and you see and preview. So what's happening here? So you can see, you can able preview the size of the voxel voxel you are going to apply. So, and I came to. Let me do this again. Shift R, and you can see the numbers are increasing. This is more. This is the number that the the voxels that are going to be more. The more, the more have a, a lower rest. So like, right now I'm applied to 0.3839, and then and then Control R. You see it, it loses a lot of detail. So Shift R again, and okay, let me just closer and shift. R. Uh, yeah, up here. So set this number to point oh four, and then and then I apply remesh, and it changes the shape. You see? So shift R again. Increase the number to. Way higher, like one. Control R. This is a low res, so I decrease the number to point oh two, and then I remesh. And once I remesh again, and it increases the resolution, but it keep, but the, but it keeps the like low it keeps the shape of a a low res what you had. So to demonstrate how to do quad remesh, I already sculpted this lion head for example. So when I turn on the wireframe that you can see then you can see the the edges are not Exactly on the center of this y-axis because when you're sculpt like modeling a character or making vehicles, you have to like the edges are on this exact center like y-axis. So you can once you model the half of the once you model the half of the parts, then you can go to the and go to this modifier to use the mirror modifier the right here so you can make a like perfect symmetry of you the of the the objects you model so so like so let's start how to do this to remesh so so go to this object data properties to remesh right here click this and, we, and we've already seen this voxel mode, so I'm gonna change this to change to change it to quad. And the options are all gone, but once you once you click this quadriflow remesh button, it shows you all the options. So make sure this use. Paint symmetry is checked. 
we're using a face mode so the number of faces is is more the number is gonna be the higher quality so when I or before I before we go to the higher resolution I'm gonna decrease the decrease this first like number of faces set to like like 1500 for example for this one it has a a 30,000 meshes so I'm gonna de decrease the number of meshes into 1500 so, so let me hit OK and you see that this this half of the the symmetry is really well done and it kind of loses the detail but it keeps the base it keeps the the basic shapes of the the lion's head so that's really nice that's really nice options for like for like finding for like doing a sculpting so let me undo go back to the quadrate remesh I'm gonna increase I'm gonna increase this into 12,000 hit OK it loads so it's gonna take a uh, yeah And like before, it the resol the resolution has been increased, but and some of the parts are a little bit quite off. So so right now I'm on the so right now I'm on the uh, sculpt mode. So I'm so, so let me just can uh, can smooth this out. And this is not the best way to do the modeling, but it kind of gives you the idea of what the final the final result is going to be shown when you're like when you do sculpt when you're doing modeling your characters. So I hope this was really helpful for you guys.